Hey guys, uh, Ron Shawley here for AccuWeather.com and for Strike King Fishing Lures today. A lot of a lot of people have been asking me to do a real short video about some of the lures that uh, Strike King has come out with. Now, here in Pennsylvania, and I'm going to be talking. These lures can be used universally across the board, okay? But here we're going to focus today a little bit about using these lures um, for catching stripers, for catching lake trout, and also steelhead, okay? Now, the first one we look at is the wake shad. Again, since the inception of lures being swiveled in the middle or some have multiple swivels, okay, where the body of the lure is broken and it swivels in two, three, four locations, all right? The wake shad, okay? This little guy absolutely is probably the best lure for catching stripers here in Pennsylvania, be it the hybrid or the straight striper, okay? Also, lake trout, it kills them, okay? Guys, make sure, make sure when you're using the uh, wake shad, okay, um, you can force it down as deep as you want, naturally dragging it behind your downrigger um, anywhere from 20 to 35 feet, okay? What we do, we run them down probably around 60 to 70 feet. Uh, for the lake trout, in, anywhere from you know 50 to 80 feet, we're, we're running the, uh, the wake shads, okay? They work great, all right? They, they, I can't show you right now, but trust me, the action of this looks like an honest-to-goodness, real-life shad that's having trouble swimming, and, and it actually has a little bit of a sound to it, too, that emulates a shad that's been hurt in the water, okay? Again, fantastic. Well worth the purchase, all right? Uh, what a lot of guys are doing on the umbrella rigs, uh, running four rubbers on the sides, okay? Four rubber shads on the side, and running out probably about anywhere from, I'm going to say roughly two feet in the middle, okay, off the of main line, off the, off the center of your umbrella rig, you're running your wake shad way in the back. So traditionally what's going to happen is the, the striper's coming in, the first thing he's going to hit is the first thing he sees, and it's going to be that wake shad swimming behind four other uh, shad up in a, in a cluster, okay? Works great. Sexy swimmer, we talked about the... The, the way the lures are pivoted, okay? And they're pivoted because they move through the water and it allows that lure to really kick and rattle around, okay? Another fantastic lure. I found pike, love this lure, okay? Also musky, great musky lure. All right, Sexy Swimmer by Strike King. Here we have another smaller King Shad version, okay? Called the Baby Shad. Small version, folks, okay? I have discovered trolling on the Allegheny River just north of Pittsburgh. This little booger, okay, has caught me a lot of fish, a lot of smallmouth bass. Unbelievable, okay? Slams them. I've caught musky on this little guy. I've lost a couple of two. Uh, some of our kids are using them and catching everything from largemouth bass, smallmouth bass smallmouth bass, and even absolutely catching uh, channel cat, okay, on these uh, baby king shads. One of the lures I like a lot from the Wild Shiner, it's been around for a while, okay, but the Wild Shiner from Strike King, the Wild Shiner, a fixed lure, hard lure body, uh, it's a floater, it'll go down medium diver, it will catch your large game fish, all right, but I've also discovered that uh, forcing it down 40 feet, okay, uh, using a weighted system rig, right? I'm catching a lot of big walleye, a lot of big walleye on the, uh, the wild shine, and it's a jerk bait, okay? But it will catch a lot of nice fish for you. The red eye shad, we all know them, we all love them, okay? Guys up here at Race Down, they swear by the red eyes, okay? But again, the red eyes, uh, using an umbrella rig, okay, guys, be careful, okay, remember, we don't want to overdo it on the hooks, okay, you might get arrested, okay, uh, take the hooks off and run the red eyes on your umbrella rigs, they work out fantastic, but using them the way they are, again, they will catch bass, pike, muskie, uh, large perch, you're up on Lake Erie, okay, 
the uh, the red eye shad work really good up on Lake Erie for catching a lot of walleye, a lot of uh, bigger crappies will hit these things. Fantastic, all right. And I said down race down Lake in Pennsylvania. Uh, a lot of guys, that's all they use, okay? They swear by these, all right? They absolutely love them. Now, let's talk to the kids for a minute, okay? You're out with, you're out with the old man out there fishing, okay? Don't think for one minute that you're not going to catch some big fish too, okay? And I'm going to show you something here, all right? What I recommend are the Mini Kings, okay? The Mini King, little mini spinner, okay? Single hook, all right, weighted. Yeah, your old man's going to laugh, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. hey. Take this guy out, okay? Put it on your line, throw it out there. You're gonna catch some nice fish. And I'll tell you, I've been keeping track of the fish caught on the Mini King so far. And it, you know, and I've had large bass hit this sucker and kill it, okay? I've had monster catfish, flatheads. Um, I'm, and I, I don't know why, but catfish love this little guy, okay? Um, stripers, the hybrid stripers will hit this, okay? So it's not limited to just bass. I've seen every fish out there hit this lure. Works out great, okay? I prefer the yellow and blue um, because it seems to work better here in Pennsylvania waters. But uh, they all work great. Check them out. Now, what I like about the rocket shad spinners, okay? These are the rocket shad spinners. All right? They come in a multitude of different styles, okay? I prefer the whitish cream color rocket shed. Heavy, heavy weight, okay? I like these because what we do here in Pennsylvania on the river where you got the lock, you're not allowed to get too close to the lock. They put the buoys up. They keep people away from, you know, potentially swamping your boat, which is a good thing, okay? But you're sometimes 20 to 30 yards away from where the water comes over the lock, eh? What we do, we tie these on, and because they're weighted heavy enough, okay, we can cast them from the buoy where we're parked at, we can cast them up river into the ripple where the water comes over the, um, the lock, all right? And we catch a lot of fish with these rocket shads, okay? Um, the fish are up in that aerated water. They love it, a lot of oxygen, and they're feeding. Anything that, I mean, anything that comes over the waterfall, uh, if you're familiar with the locks, okay, the water comes over the wall, okay? I mean, the fish are up are just having a feeding frenzy, and the rocket shads, we catch every bloody fish that's up there. I'm not joking, okay? They're up there. We cast it in, and we're catching it, okay? Um, check it out today, folks. It's a good buy. Fantastic lure. And, and kids, seriously, go get them, okay? They work great, okay? Um, the Rocket Chat is great for panfish, perch, bass, pike, muskie. Um, again, I, we've caught them all, okay? Catfish. And again, that, that's a mystery to us, okay, you know, but catfish lately have been hitting on lures a lot, uh, predominantly on the river, okay, they just, um, for some reason, you know, we're having a lot of luck with artificial strike king lures on the river, um, catching some nice catfish, okay. So check out Strike King, you can find them at Walmart, you can find them at Gander Mountain, um, you know, I guarantee, I guarantee it, okay, and I'm being honest with you, okay, the Strike King lures, they will catch fish, okay? But learn learn how to fish. Learn the nature of the fish. Take time to learn about stripers, okay? It's really hard to catch them. Take the time to read up about them, okay? A lot of guys are going out there, you know, catching live bait um, early in the morning, and they're going out there trolling, whatever, not catching anything, okay? Stripers are really hard to catch. You, you, you almost got to know... Where are they? What are they doing? How deep are they? What are they feeding on? Okay, what time of the year is it? So, you know, if you invest a couple of hours in learning about the fish you're trying to catch, it will pay off, all right? Take care. Have a great day.